Hey guys and girls, in this video, we're going to take a look at the best mini PC. I made my research and this list reflects my personal opinion. And I've listed products based on quality, durability, price, and more. I've included options for every type of consumer. So if you're looking for an entry-level option or the best product money can buy, we may have the product for you in this list. If you want more information and updated pricing on the products mentioned, be sure to check the links in the description down below. The products mentioned are in no exact order, so be sure to stay to the end so you don't miss anything. Also, if you want a chance to win one of the mini PCs in the video, just subscribe, don't forget to hit the notification bell, and leave a comment with a hidden word in the video. We will pick a winner and notify him when we reach 5,000 likes. Okay, so without further ado, this is our pick of the best mini PC on the market right now. Coming at number 10, we've got the Intel Hades Canyon NUC. Looking for a mini PC that delivers desktop gaming grade performance in a chassis that's about the size of a book? Intel Hades Canyon NUC is a mini PC that delivers just that. Thanks to its Intel Core i7-8009G AMD Radeon RX Vega MGH hybrid chip, which combines processing and discrete graphics on a single chip, the Hades Canyon NUC can handle AAA games and VR in a small black brick that can be tucked into a backpack or added to a home entertainment center. Despite its small size, the Hades Canyon NUC is loaded with ports, including Thunderbolt 3 ports and HDMI output. If you buy the bare bones kit, you'll need to provide memory and storage and your installation of Windows, but this pint-sized gaming machine can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with NVIDIA GTX 1050 Ti-powered gaming tower, and it can even handle a bit of VR. If high-grade performance is your taste, then Intel Hades Canyon NUC is one of the best mini PCs you can get for gaming without compromise. Number 9. Acer Chromebox CXi3 the Acer Chromebook CXi3 may be the best desktop version of Chrome OS available. Made for use in the classroom or the office, the Chromebook CXi3 delivers everything great about Chrome, ease of use, simple security, and all the online compatibility you want in a mini PC that boasts great features and performance. The compact Chromebox can be mounted almost anywhere and boasts plenty of ports, including several USB 3.0 ports, HDMI output, and a USB-C port. The latest model is outfitted with an Intel Core i5 processor, 8GB of RAM, and a 64GB SSD, combining to offer speedy performance and easy multitasking. Plus, it's cheaper than any similarly equipped Windows machine. For one of the best mini PC designs without the bloat of Windows, there's no beating the Acer Chromebox CX i3. Coming at number 8, Asus PN50. A bare bones mini PC comes without memory, storage, or an operating system, so it's not ready to use out of the box. But if you're comfortable installing these things yourself, it's often more economical to buy a bare bones system, especially if you need a large SSD for storing big video files or games or 16 gigabytes of memory for editing high resolution photos and videos. We like the ASUS PN50 bare bones mini PC because it offers AMD Ryzen processors, good enough performance for everything from web browsing to light gaming, and because the PN50 squeezes in all of the ports most people will need, including a micro SD card slot on the front. Coming at number seven, Raspberry Pi 4 Model B. The Raspberry Pi ushered in a new era of DIY tech. The latest model, the Raspberry Pi 4 Model B, pushes that to new heights with a more powerful processor, 4K video output, and an impressive part selection. The latest model, the $35 Raspberry Pi 4 Model B, offers enormous value for projects, ranging from simple to complex from its enhanced processing and graphics to offering broad compatibility with older accessories. 
If you want to do something different with your technology, the Raspberry Pi 4 Model B is the best mini PC for tinkering and experimenting. Whether you buy it alone or in a kit, the Raspberry Pi is hard to beat. Number 6. Zotac ZBox CI622 Like to build your castle while keeping the form factor as small as possible? The Zotac ZBox is the mini PC designed for such. The ZBox is not made by Intel, but it comes in configurations from Core i3 up to Core i7, depending on how much power you want. Like the NUC, this does not come with RAM, hard drive, or graphics card, so it's going to cost you more. The box doesn't require tools to access it. This is truly built for people who want to build their computers. But if you don't want to, you can also purchase different configurations that include memory and storage, if you don't want to do it yourself. There are seven total USB ports, six of which support USB 3.1. Of the seven, two of them are USB-C ports, and there's also a 3-in-1 card reader, HDMI port, display port, and there's even a connection for an external. In short, this is a highly customizable box that fits into a lot of budgets and slides into your bag when you need to move it. That's a powerful combination that makes it one of the most popular mini PCs out there. Coming in at number five, Kingdell A3. Where many mini desktops feature integrated Intel graphics or AMD embedded APUs, the King Dell A3 boasts an NVIDIA GTX 1650 GPU. You've got a choice between several different CPUs, including an Intel i5-9300H CPU, i7-9750H, or an i9-8950H. While it's a GTX 1650 powered desktop, this small form factor desktop does come with the mobile variant. Still, performance is phenomenal. In Fortnite, you can hit around 80 to 90 frames per second on a 1080p high. Overwatch clocks in at over 100 frames per second on high at 1080p, while Doom Internal achieves a steady 70 to 80 frames per second at high on 1080p. And Grand Theft Auto 5 manages 80 to 90 frames per second on high normal on 1080p. You won't be able to max out every game on 4K, but for 1080p gaming, the King Dell A3 is more than up for the challenge. Coming at number 4, Lenovo ThinkCenter M70 QTiny. While Lenovo sells several ThinkCenter mini PCs with the same basic design, including the M80 QTiny and M90 QTiny, the M70 Q Tiny offers the best combination of price and features. The front panel has one USB Type-C port for newer accessories, as well as a Type-A port for older cables and USB drives. On the back, it has one display port and one HDMI port, so you can easily use multiple monitors. If you order a custom configuration, you could add more USB-C, display port, or HDMI ports. Its fan is nearly silent in everyday use and tolerable under more intensive workloads. And for easy upgrades later on, you need to remove only one screw to access its M.2 storage and two memory slots, which is a plus on its own. Number 3. HP ProDesk 400 G6 Mini PC If the ThinkCenter M70 QTiny is out of stock or our recommendation configuration, costs more than $800, or if you just want an extra front USB port, get the HP ProDesk 400 G6 Mini PC instead. It's normally more expensive than the M70 Q, but it's just as fast. If you order a customizable model, you can add display port, HDMI port, USB-C port, or VGA port to the back, a 2.5-inch drive bay for another hard drive or SSD, and an extra pair of USB 2.0 ports to connect more accessories. The customizable model also includes a generous 3-year warranty by default. Coming at number 2, Dell OptiPlex 7070 Ultra The new favorite office desktop, Dell OptiPlex 77 Ultra does a cool disappearing trick with a funky design that hides the powerful mini PC inside a specially designed monitor stand that turns it into a low-profile all-in-one PC. 
packing plenty of capability into a tiny size and offering a modular solution for offices that want to upgrade often. The Dell Optiplex 77 Ultra is a cool twist on the mini PC in the workplace. The mini PC itself is so slim that it might get mistaken for a laptop battery pack or a desktop dock, but inside, it boasts an Intel Core processor, up to 64GB of RAM and as much as 1TB of storage. It has plenty of ports and performance that puts it squarely among the, the best productivity-focused mini PCs you can buy. Number 1. Intel NUC9 Pro The Intel NUC9 Pro is a workstation mini PC that offers huge power and a surprising amount of upgradability. A workstation desktop isn't an uncommon offering in the PC world, as they're the standard for many demanding uses, ranging from architecture to animation. What is unusual to see is that level of performance packed into a tiny design that's smaller than a 5-liter SFF desktop. Throw in a room for huge amounts of RAM, added drives, and up to 8-inch graphics card, and the Intel NUC9 Pro is a rare beast indeed. And that's before discussing Intel's innovative Compute Element motherboard, which weds the modularity of the motherboard with the built-in cooling and self-contained design of a GPU to create a unique basis for a truly potent PC. Add it all up, and it's definitely the best workstation available in mini PCs today. That brings us to the end of our review and buyer's guide for the best mini PC. Hope to see you in the next video. Let us know in the comments what is your favorite one. And if you like this content, don't forget to subscribe and get notified when we launch new videos. Thanks for watching. Peace.